What's the deal, y'all? Look, we back with the international rugby for real. We got the All Blacks versus the England. And doomed in 2024. Says one point thriller. Uh, no Michael Jackson, man. I think the uh, I think the All Blacks gonna pull this one out. I think they're gonna pull this one out. That's just my assumption. But the fact that it's one point means it was a close match. So let's get into it, man. Um, I'm gonna get into the Wales Australia game too. And I, I'm still looking for the highlights for the Springboks versus Ireland. So we got to figure out where we're gonna find those. And then I got the USA versus Romania. Uh, for the American series dropping tomorrow. So be on the lookout for the videos. We all got we got NRL 17 coming to and then NRL 18 early next week. Uh round 18. So let's get into it. New Zealand versus England. The South Island city of Dunedin hosts the opening all black team 2024. And it's the start of a new era in all black rugby. A new coach in Scott Robertson. You, Captain and Scott Barrett. And yeah. The world's most successful yeah. international rugby team kicks off against an England side rejuvenated under their coach, Joe Marler. Steve Borthwick. Away from McKenzie. All right. Box high kick. Oh, look at Sevu. That's Sevu Reese. Stop playing with Sevu. That's my guy, bro. Still balling. Still balling. They need to stay up on the feet. George goes. Line out. Oh, oh, Messi. Messi. Almost got himself to the line. Snapped up by Itoje. And the referee looks and he's not sure. It looks like he looks like he got that, man. Yeah. He got that. Smith Marcus Smith. Oh, good move. Look at that. Artie. Artie to the house. Nah, that move from, from Parafetta, though. Come on, bro. Like, that, that was nice, bro. A little patience, a little hazy, a little shake him off. No Mariah Carey, you feel me? Like he just, he just, he did what he needed to do. Under penalty advantage, they look to go back to their right hand side with McKenzie and Swift. Hey, already look kind of slow right there though, nah. They've had the ball for a long time, haven't made any ground at all. All right, 41 minutes. Short pass, well, flat pass to Scott Barrett. Oh, he got the steal. Yeah, he got the steal. He should have got the steal. There he goes again. And uh, this time, he is successful. Referee blows the whistle. Half time here in Dunedin. And the All Blacks in England are tied up. At All right, 10, 10 and a half. I just want to say I like the energy. Uh... I like the energy of the crowd. The energy of the crowd feeds into the All Blacks, and you can see that. But I'm also, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm liking what, what England's doing. They didn't show too much in this highlight video, so far at least. But we still got a long way to go. Channel. The Mitchell. Now Smith, the way for Earl. Good move. Really threatening the All Black line here. Now oh, you left him open. They, they squeezed him in. Got caught sleeping. Well, it goes for Martin. And uh, the All Blacks had rights to the ball. And they gain the penalty. McKenzie with the boot. All right, there you go, D Mac. There you go, D Mac. Goes down the back. Nice throw. Taken down by Christy. Jacobson. Reese. Right in center field. Up it goes for Vai. Got a penalty advantage here, the All Blacks. It's right out in front, too. Now Scott Barrett. Savia spinning his way through. Oh, good clean out, good clean out. Again. I like the rug speed. Change of direction. McKenzie. And they get in a bit of a mess. 
So they've got a penalty here. I don't know if I necessarily like Christie's uh, passing on that. Not to say the passes were bad, just I think they could have went to better people. If that makes sense. In the meantime, let's give the All Blacks the lead back. McKenzie. And up go the flags. That went through, okay. All right. And almost like it was wide right. Christie away for... Anton Leonard Brown who's got a cross to help out in the heavy stuff. Penalty advantage for the All Blacks. Okay, I like that. I like that. A good good catch to Leo. Great tackle. Barrett's got it though. Bowden Barrett. They'll keep it going here, the All Blacks. They've still got this penalty advantage. It's almost got a little messy, man. And they'll have to go back. It was a tackle with no arms. He just collapsed on the ground and let the bloke. That almost got a little messy, my boy. Big kick here for D Mac. You better lock in, bro. You better lock in, D Mac. Maybe McKenzie. Come on. Inside the two minute mark in the game, there will be time for a kickoff. Why are you smiling? You better make that. Wow. Wow. Big call. Time expired. Time out. What? Boy. That's what I'm saying. You smiling, bro. You better kick that ball. <laughs> you better make that, bro. Because if they, if England came back and gets a, a, a field goal, wins the game somehow, you know what I mean? They're going to look at you like, dog, you could have put us up. You could have put us up, bro. In the last few minutes. You could have put us up. New Zealand probably still going to win. That's probably the one point thriller, 16-15. But I'm just saying. England comes back and scores, they looking at D Mac like, bro, come on, dog. You look, you doing this the whole time. You better kick it. Away for Smith. Furbank. Taking the tackle of Bate. That's it. That's game. That's game. Tight, but satisfying. It will be very satisfying. They had to work really hard. If you England, you can't really be mad because D Max should have kicked that and made that goal. Um, but if you if you the All Blacks coach, you Scott Robertson, I'm looking at D Mac, I'm talking to him like, hey bro, come on. I know you gotta take your time and do this, but you gotta come on. That could have went left for us. That could have went real left on our home field. That's all I'm saying. The English shall be disappointed. This was a real hard fought test match for the All Blacks. They stay composed. Really had to grind it out and deserve that one point victory. What a game. Congratulations, Scott. That's taken everything you've got. How proud are you of your team, particularly that Oh, we got game. interviews. Okay. Yeah, immensely proud. Um, to be honest, I think we're a really 50-50 uh, call there at the end. Could have gone either way with that, but um, I guess we'll ride our luck. Uh, immensely proud with how we started. In terms of that performance and what you had to work through, what were the things you talked about at halftime that were going to be critical about turning this, I suppose, draw into a result? Yeah, I think we talked about uh, just wearing them down um, with, our, with our ball carrier breakdown. Um, they stayed in the arm wrestle. We probably overplayed a wee bit at times, but um, that last quarter we managed to put them in their corner and um, sort of won that territory battle. There's so many things you're trying to prepare for, trying to, so many things you're trying to build on. What was the most impressive thing for you that you've worked over the last 10? Yeah, D-Mac 0-2 on conversions. You got to, yeah, we can't have too much of that. Can't have too no, much of that. In man. terms of getting yourself into a position where you can win a test match like this. Marcus Smith, 1-2. for two. Yeah, I think it's how quickly the boys have really come together um, under a new coaching system. and Two yeah, for three penalties. Proud, I guess, to, for five franchises. Plus a couple of extras come back from overseas and uh, come together three. to, I guess, win a pretty uh, tough test match there. Let's talk about England because we knew they were a team that were trying to evolve. What was it they did that made it so very tough tonight? Um, they shifted us around and little kicks in behind. They just squeezed us at times. Um, potentially um, made us try play out of our own half and uh, we, we were a bit slow to adapt, but we did that in the second half and um, I guess we held some uh, phases together and we got a couple of penalties just to nudge us in front. And a place to start this season down here in Dunedin in front of a crowd of great energy out there. Is that what you felt? Yeah, all week uh, we felt the support. Um, it was good energy in the crowd. Wellington, um, from friends and family. So, uh, yeah, 
Thanks. <laughs> Congratulations, you did this well. Well done. Yeah, cheers, Jim. Thank you. Let's go across now to Jamie George, the captain of England, standing by with Joey Wheeler. Well, Jamie, obviously the rawness of that loss, I can see it in your face. You're really, really disappointed. But your initial assessment of that? Just a huge amount of pride for our boys. Um, the way that we fought and the scraps in that first half in particular, I think a lot of other teams, maybe England teams in the past, might have, might have gone away at that stage. And look, credit to the All Blacks in terms of how they played, put us under a huge amount of pressure. And a one-point game makes it very exciting for next week. New Zealand always an intimidating place to come for you guys. You haven't won here in 21 years. The 50-50 at the end, probably the rub of the green for the home side. What did you make of that last call? Oh, it's hard to tell from, from the sideline. Um, look, we're going to analyse everything. I think breakdown was one thing that, that probably let us down a little bit tonight. So um, it's definitely going to be a focal point for us next week. And if that's the case, then it takes the referee out of, the, out, out of our hands, you know. You must be Thanks. immensely proud of your defensive efforts from this side tonight. You made a huge amount of tackles with a, a, you know, a huge amount of physicality. I'd imagine from a positive point of view, you'd be wanting to take that into next week as well. Oh, look, we love defending. We wanted to put the All Blacks under pressure tonight. I thought we did that. Um, we've got to back it up next week. And I'm, like, like I said, like the effort and the pride, that's what English rugby is all about. And uh, Very, very close game of fine margins, but um, we go again next week. I know it's been a long season for you guys, but it seems like you're really enjoying the New Zealand hospitality. How have you enjoyed your uh, sort of week and a half that you've had here? Oh, jeez, look at that. Oh, shit, what the hell going down? Oh, it's the end times. Oh, shit, it's the whole damn end times, bro. An England fan went to the generators. An England fan figured out how to get to the generators. And said, <laughs> we shutting this all down. Oh, that, mate, disco time. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Do I need to sing now? Um, yeah. No, look, uh, we, we love coming down here. It's, uh, I've got great memories of being down here in 17, and, um, you know, we're very aware of the record. Um, not winning here in 21 years. It's, it's, we wanted to come here and change that, and we've got another opportunity to do that next week. Thank you so much, Jamie. A, a really tough forward effort from your boys. You should be really proud. I'm looking forward to a grandstand finish next week. Well done. All right, man, that was it. Uh, if I'm the All Blacks, I'm a little bit worried. You know what I'm saying? That's too a little bit too close for comfort. You know, the point victory should be a little bit higher, in my opinion. But new coach, you know, changed up the squad a little bit. So, they're, 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 you know, you got the dub at the end of the day. So, that's all that matters. But I'll be a little bit worried. Just a little bit. Um, but y'all let me know what you think in the comments. I am going to try to find the, a replay of the whole match so I can analyze it a little bit better. And uh, that's it, man. Be on the lookout for more videos. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare. Real always reaches everyone next time. Peace.